So you're thinking about moving to Harriman, Utah. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you around Harriman on the map. This way you'll get a good idea as far as where Harriman is located within the Salt Lake Valley. I'll show you some of the details and attractions around the Harriman area. And if you stick around to the end, I'll actually share with you how Pixar Films had a direct influence on one of the homes built in the Harriman area. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that. And we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel, and if you'd like to know everything there is to know about living in Salt Lake City, Utah, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about the current market in Salt Lake City, Utah. Hi, my name's Steve Gilbert. I'm with eXp Realty. My team and I, we get calls and emails every day from people just like you that are looking for help with making their move to Salt Lake, Utah. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call. You can send us a text or even send us an email. The information, it'll be in the description below. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to Salt Lake City, Utah. So as I mentioned, we're gonna look at Harriman today on the map. So let's go ahead, get right to it and jump into my computer. Here's a look at Harriman, Utah in Salt Lake County, Utah. So uh, Harriman is located in the furthest southwest corner of Salt Lake Valley. So you can see the borders here and this map doesn't quite accurately reflect the boundaries. Uh, it's closer to this and you'll see this on a map a little bit later on. I'll show you exactly uh, how that looks. Uh, but here's a quick look at Harriman. And uh, because it is located uh, so far south and west in the valley, uh, you're going to naturally have longer uh, commute times if you're heading into the Salt Lake area, if you're heading up to the airport. Uh, but to give you an idea, uh, from Harriman, if you take uh, the Bangor Highway and then up north on I-15, you're about a 35-minute drive time into the Salt Lake City area. And heading up to the airport, you'll be a little bit closer. You can take Mountain View Corridor up to the 201 and then over to Bangor, and you're only about 31 minutes. And there are a couple of different options. A Bangor Highway is always a really fast, quick option. So you can get the, into Salt Lake City or to the airport through Bangor, through the Mountain View Corridor. Plus you do have a third option being this far west from Harriman. You can head over to Highway 111 or Bacchus Highway and you can take this up to the 201. So uh, several different routes are heading out of that uh, end of the valley. If you're gonna be traveling south into Utah County, the Mountain View Corridor does tie into Redwood Road and from Redwood Road, you can take that down to 2100 North in Lehigh. And then a bunch of your companies, businesses, and office spaces located in this area of Northern Utah County in the Lehigh area. And so that's a quick look, high level view as far as your travel time into the Salt Lake area. One interesting thing about Harriman is it does have this small town feel, and that's really because it's tucked back into uh, the corner of the valley. You're right up against the mountain, up against the Ochre Mountains, and directly south you have the Camp Williams, uh, which is the National Guard uh, training facility. Uh, they do all their practice stuff just south down here in this area. Uh, but you do have Butterfield Canyon. This is a seasonal road. It's open uh, roughly from June through October. And this will actually take you up and over the mountain. You're going to cross a, around 9,100 feet in elevation. You'll hit Middle Canyon and it takes you right down into Tooele. So you've got some peaks around here like this uh, a peak down here, which is around 10,600 feet. So you've got some really uh, high peaks in the mountains that do surround you uh, being located in this uh, pocket of the valley. Uh, down here in Harriman. So let's zoom in and take a, a little closer look as far as Harriman and show you show you what's available. So on the north end of Harriman, um, you know, one thing about Harriman is there's not a lot of shopping and uh, you do have a, a couple of grocery stores within Harriman, but a lot of the shopping is located just outside of it. Uh, for example, if you're on the north end of uh, Harriman, you do have the district, which has the Megaplex Theater, and then you've got several grocery uh well, several stores, including grocery stores and your Target and so forth, located in this area right here. So lots of restaurants available in this district. And this really kind of supports this daybreak community. So if you've seen my South Jordan video, I talk a lot about the district and uh, everything that's offered there. Now, continuing south from the district, we do have another shopping center, which has the Lowe's in here, a couple of restaurants that are around here. And uh, this would just be another quick little jot down this road east on 12600 South uh, to get to those. Now, uh, Harriman High is located on the north end of uh, Harriman. You've also got the, uh, the Junior High or the Middle School, which is located in this area as well. Let me zoom in and have this pop up. So here we go, the Copper Mountain Middle School right there. 
So you do have a couple of uh, coffee shops around here. You've got your JCW Hamburgers, which is a, a Utah favorite around here. One thing that uh, Harriman is known for is its open space and its parks. And so, you know, there's a few different cities throughout the valley that are really known uh, for their open space and Harriman is absolutely one of them. So there's so many different areas uh, that you can go and enjoy some of the walking trails and just the open space that's provided. Right on the corner over here, as we're just south of the daybreak area, you can see these, all of these little open space areas. And uh, this community here is called Copper Creek and it's got kind of an interesting layout. You can see it's got this circular road and then all of these cul-de-sacs that head into, uh, head, in, head into the different uh, homes here. Uh, this road right here crosses this little uh, uh, creek right here. Most of the time, I don't think there's much water running through that. Uh, but lots of open space there. As we continue uh, south into Harriman, we're going to continue to see even more open space. All of these green areas are little parks here. Now, you, you do have a great little restaurant, the Garage Grill, uh, located in, in Harriman. There's one of these located uh, over there by the Hidden Valley Country Club on the sandy uh, Draper border. That's always a favorite place to go and grab some food as well. It's got a really fun environment and, and atmosphere there. So you've got your, your Tuscany park here. You've got a, a dog park over here. So this would be your off leash. You can go and let the pets run around at the dog park here. As we continue south, as we get closer to the city center, which is where the city buildings are located, you're gonna find those around the Lynn Crane Park area. And one, one great thing about this park is during the summertime, I believe it's running through June through around October, uh, but the, they have the farmer's market here. So local farmers can come and bring their uh, produce and their vegetables and they can uh, sell them here. So if you like that grown local, fresh uh, feel, this is a great place to come. Uh, they And this park hosts that every evening uh, all summer long. And then there's just a lot of fun activities that take place here. Harriman has their own version of their 4th of July celebration. And they normally do this, it's called their town celebration. And they typically do this uh, the last part of June, but they have a lot of different festivities and games. They're gonna have some races that all take place. And this is really the, uh, one of the center parks or center places this takes place along with the Butterfield Park as well. So a couple different places that they, that they host these uh, festivities here. Now, as we continue a little bit further south, you're going to notice we have a handful of restaurants on this 130, 400 south. This is also where your uh, Smith's grocery store is located. That's going to be your main uh, shopping or grocery center right here in, in Harriman. Uh, but you've got your fast food, fast food restaurants. Uh, you're going to notice that there's going to be your uh, Cafe Rio. You're going to find that pretty much at any city that you go to in the state of Utah. As we head a little bit further south, we're going to continue to see that there's just parks everywhere. So we've got Monarch Meadows over here. We're going to have a bunch of soccer fields up there. You've got the Foothills Park over here. And then you, we've got uh, all of these different skate parks, uh, the tennis court parks over here. And so this whole area just has parks everywhere. And one of the favorite parks is Autumn Dusk Park. And uh, the reason it is such a, a popular park is it's got the Frisbee disc golf course. And so you can throw the Frisbee around and that's becoming more and more popular here in Utah. It's a lot like pickleball, which has really taken off, but uh, these Frisbee golf courses are becoming more and more popular. Uh, you used to be able to go and uh, hop right on the course and play all you wanted without you know, bumping into a bunch of people. But nowadays, uh, you're gonna see a lot more people on the courses as they're going out and just enjoying uh, being out and uh, tossing that Frisbee around. We do have a park over here at Cove at Harriman Springs. So this is a fun community here. It's called uh, uh, the Cove at Harriman. And uh, this began to be developed back in uh, around the 2005 era. And it's got the, this pond here, which has, uh, there's some rainbow trout here. It's got some largemouth bass. There's a couple of other different uh, uh, fish species here, but the Cove Pond, you can go and you can fish here at the city of Harriman. They actually sponsor like a fishing day where you can come and just enjoy fishing uh, at this place. And because it's tucked even further west in Harriman, you, you're in this little canyon. So you really have this secluded feel in this area. With, uh, with Harriman, uh, you know, most of uh, uh, the recreation that takes place in the Salt Lake Valley is going to be on the east side. That's where the Wasatch Mountains are. That's where all of the national forest is. So uh, basically, there's limitless recreation when you head over to the east side of the valley on the Wasatch Front. On the west side, uh, it's very limited. In fact, uh, areas like Magno, West Valley, uh, South Jordan, West Jordan, they just don't have 
that ability to run up on the mountain because it's all private property. But Harriman has that, they do have some BLM land and this is uh, close to that uh, Butterfield Canyon. So there are some hiking options, some picnic options. Uh, there are even a couple of mountain biking trails that you can take advantage of. For the most part, if you're a big mountain biker, you're gonna head across the valley to Draper to Corner Canyon where there's just all kinds of uh, mountain biking trails. Uh, but uh, they have uh, put in a couple of trails here. You can see on the map here, but these areas in green, these are your mountain biking trails. You have the Black Ridge Trail, which will tie into Black Ridge Reservoir. And this is one of the fun things about Harriman is it's got this little lake reservoir that you can paddleboard on, you can kayak on, but it's also got this beach. So it's got this nice sand and it's just a really fun place to go and visit. It's tucked away in this neighborhood. So again, it's it's got this secluded feel. And so a fun place, you're gonna see a lot of families enjoying summertime at this little lake and reservoir uh, right there. It's still within the boundaries, but outside of this red boundary here, you've got the Zions Bank Stadium. Uh, so this is gonna be uh, near the practice facility for the Salt Lake Real. They'll come out and practice for soccer. You've also got the Salt Lake uh, Monarch, uh, which will practice soccer out here. You've got the, there is also a rugby team uh, that this is their facility out here as well. So if you enjoy uh, the sports like soccer, you've got a great option right here in Harriman. So it makes it nice and convenient. You don't have to drive across the entire valley uh, to go to a game. Now, one other great thing about uh, Harriman, if you enjoy sport, there's a lot of sport opportunities that are coming out here. The Salt Lake Bees, they've been located in Salt Lake, uh, really pretty close to the downtown Salt Lake area but their facility is moving. So they're gonna be building a brand new stadium in the Daybreak area. And that is just north of Harriman right here. And so this stadium is gonna be uh, completed in 2025. It's projected that the Bees will play their last game at their stadium in 2024. So in just a couple short years, you'll be able to enjoy some baseball games. The Salt Lake Bees, that is the farm team for the Anaheim Angels. And so always fun to go catch a game. That's always a popular activity that takes place during the summer in the Salt Lake Valley. So let's take a closer look at some of the homes that are available. You do have a median home price in Harriman of $594,000. And so that is a, a little higher than what the Salt Lake County median is. Uh, that median's always been around $550,000. So we're a little higher than that. Uh, median uh, price per square feet, $205 per square foot. The average year built for Harriman is 2011. So this is a much newer community. In fact, uh, in the year 2000, there were only around 1,500 residents in Harriman. And so that significantly increased because we have a population of close to 65,000 people. But there's been a lot of growth, a lot of development in this part of the valley. And this is really where the growth and expansion has really taken place over the last 20 years in Salt Lake County. So here's, here's a, a look at the map. Let's just show you uh, quickly what uh, some of the different uh, houses look like in the Harriman area. So if we're up closer to the uh, northern end of the Harriman border, if we want to stick closer to maybe below that median home price, here's a home for $479,000, four bedroom, three and a half bath, uh, a little uh, shy of 2,100 square feet on a real small lot here, but that's what you're gonna be shy of, just shy of $480,000 there. So if we stick closer to like 650,000, uh, we're gonna be a three bedroom, three bath home, uh, 2,866 square feet. Uh, we're on a smaller lot here as well with 0.14. So it, it will give you yard, uh, but you're not gonna be uh, on a real large lot right there. As we head south uh, into Harriman, uh, this is where this growth really just uh, continues to, to get newer and newer. But this home here for 660,000, this gives you that third car garage. You're on 0.31 of an acre. So you're on a larger lot now, six bedroom, three bathroom, and we're over 3,500 square feet. So heading south, if we look at the, the Rosecrest area, this is one of these communities that was being developed in that 2005 era. It continues to expand and grow. We continue to have newer homes in this area. But at 594,000, which is right at that median home price, we've got a five bedroom, three and a half bath home. Uh, we're just shy of 2,900 square feet on 0.13 of an acre. And uh, you'll find a, a lot of homes like this in this area. Uh, recently built. So this is going to be a newer home. Let's check out the year. This is probably built around that uh, 2016, 2017 era. 
Yeah, let's go down and take a look at this. So built in 2014 is when this home was built. And let's just take a quick look inside. So there's our kitchen back there. Okay, we're not gonna spend much time at all in there. And then let's go ahead and take a look at some of these townhomes that are being built. One thing about Harriman is because of the affordability over the last few years in the real estate market in general across America, but uh, we've certainly felt that to increase in the home values as they've rapidly increased over the past few years. Uh, to help with that and the affordability, we do have some high density housing, a lot of these townhomes, and there's a lot of these options and opportunities here along the Mountain View corridor. So a lot of it, uh, well, on both sides of the corridor, but over here on the east side, here's a quick look at, at what you can expect for that uh, mid 400,000 price range as well. But uh, this one for 472, a lot of these two car garage, you're gonna be around you know, 2,200 square feet, three bedroom, two bath home. And there's a lot of those options. So one thing with Harriman is for every two single family homes, you're gonna have roughly one townhome slash condo. There is a higher concentration of townhomes, which is ultimately uh, giving more affordability to the area as well. Now heading west over towards the cove, and this is putting you closer to Butterfield Canyon, uh, but uh, you've got to, let me just show you, cause this, this neighborhood is, has such a fun feel to it. And this is where I showed you that fishing pond, you know, but for 989,000, uh, you've got a 6,700 square foot home. It's on 0.45 of an acre. It's a nine bedroom. That's a lot of bedrooms there, <laughs> nine bedrooms, five and a half bath. And so uh, that's a lot more bedrooms than you typically find for 784,000. Let's take a quick look at this one here. Uh, this one here represents the time that this was initially developed around that 2005, 2006 era. You're gonna find uh, several of these built around that time frame. So built in 2006, it's a five bedroom, three full bathrooms, and then two half baths were over uh, 3,900 square feet. And so just taking a quick look at it, this is going to absolutely reflect that time frame, that 2005, 2006. We had a lot of those alder maple cabinets, a lot of those earth tones, and that's uh, definitely uh, reflective in this home for that time frame. Okay, so let's look at the school district. This is part of the Jordan School District and looking at the different school ratings here. We have lots of B, so we are above average here. Uh, there's a handful of B pluses in here with these different schools. As we head up here, this is where the high school is gonna be Harriman High, got a B plus rating. This B minus is gonna be uh, the middle school right here. So we've got good schools. It is in a good school district. When we look at the safety rating as far as a crime, we are here in the Southwest corner of the valley the darker the green, the safer it is. So you can see that it, the majority of this is gonna be very safe, very low crime in Harriman. Out here to the west the, in the Butterfield Canyon area, looks like uh, there are some, you know, mid-level crime that happens there. But for the most part, your neighborhood, Harriman in general is gonna be a very safe, low crime area. Uh, I told you, if you stuck around to the end, I would share with you an interesting fact about the Harriman area. The builder, Bangor Homes, uh, actually kind of teamed up and they jointly designed this home with Pixar Films. So Pixar, as you know, is the uh, animation company. And uh, the movie Up, they designed a home. This was featured in the Parade of Homes. Uh, but uh, you can find this home in the city of Harriman. And it really is a tourist attraction. In fact, if you look on Google Maps here, it says that, uh, you know, it's a tourist attraction. So people do, they love to swing by, just take a look at the home because it's almost an exact uh, replication uh, as far as a lookalike to the home that was in Up. So it's just something fun to go and look that kids always like to swing by uh, and take a look at that. So that's a quick look at, at Harriman, everything that it has to offer. If you're thinking about making that move to the Salt Lake Valley area or to Harriman, whether it's in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, you know, send us a text, shoot us an email. Uh, we'd love to help you make that smooth move to Salt Lake City, Utah or to Harriman. And until then, I hope to see you around town.